Poland was once home to the largest Jewish community in the world. The Holocaust left a deep chasm in the history of Polish Jews. The Museum of the History of Polish Jews will honor those who died by remembering how they lived. It will celebrate the rich civilization created by Polish Jews in the course of a millennium and transmit it to future generations. This story extends to all the places in the world where Polish Jews live today. My name is Rainer Mahlamaki and I am the architect of this building, the Museum of the History of Polish Jews. In 2005, the museum was established and an international architectural competition for the museum's building was launched. We need light here, a natural radiance to brighten the surroundings and bring out new tones from the dim background. The competition met with enormous interest. 250 projects were submitted from 36 countries. The Finnish architecture studio Lachdelma and Mahlamaki Architects won the competition. Construction began in 2009 on the site of the Warsaw Ghetto and Warsaw's pre-war Jewish neighborhood. The building faces the monument to the ghetto heroes. We created a building full of light. The design refers to the thousand years of Jewish presence in Poland, a presence that was broken by the Holocaust. You see a simple form split by a white fracture directly opposite the monument. The core exhibition is the heart and soul of the Museum of the History of Polish Jews. Eight galleries will present the 1,000-year history of Polish Jews. The 170,000-square-foot building includes an education centre, temporary galleries, conference rooms, a children's area and resource centre. A modern 450-seat auditorium will host the museum's musical and theatrical programmes, as well as lectures and conferences. The Museum of the History of Polish Jews will be a vibrant educational and cultural centre, a place of open dialogue. It will welcome visitors of all ages and backgrounds, Poles, Jews and visitors from around the world. The museum will launch its cultural and educational programming in its new home at the beginning of 2013.